At the tailboard session, the crew foreman makes crew assignments and discusses each member's responsibilities during the changeout. He also reviews safety procedures and the proper placement of shunts on this insulator string. The crew then goes to work setting up the work site and getting into their climbing gear. Once the crew members get on the structure and hang a hand line, the first thing they need to do is set up their rigging and make their work area safe. The rigging requirements for this job include hanging blocks at designated points on the structure to accommodate the bull line. In order to properly position the bull line to raise and lower the cradle, a block will be hung from a metal beam secured to the cross arm. The metal beam is positioned above the insulator string to be replaced. The men working near the cold end of the insulator string install a shunt from the structure to the insulators to keep their work area at one potential. The exact number of insulators that could safely be shunted out was determined at the tailboard session based on company policy and the number of good insulators in the string. When the blocks are hung and the shunt is in place, the bull line is sent up, fed through the blocks, and returned to the ground. The men working on the cold end of the insulator string receive the cold end yoke, which is part of the strain carrier assembly, that will take the place of the insulators. They install the yoke on the insulator link connected to the structure. The crew next receives universal sticks and moves into position to install the strain poles and the hot end yoke. On the ground, Another member of the crew has connected the bull line to the cradle. He has also attached the strain poles and hot end yoke to the cradle. When the men on the structure are in position, the cradle is raised. One of the men on the ground uses a tag line attached to the cradle to control its movement. When the cradle reaches the insulator string, the men working from the structure and the man on the ground controlling the tag line work together to guide the cradle into position. Once the cradle is in place, the men working from the cross arm use the universal sticks to install the hot end yoke and strain poles.